opportunities to provide public comment in California rulemaking. Uh, you know, there's over 200, about 230 uh, agencies, departments, boards, commissions, bureaus that adopt between seven and 800 regulations each year, <clears throat> which obviously provides ample opportunity for public comment on proposed regulations. These 200 plus state entities engage in quasi legislative activity. That is their uh, rulemaking activities where they formulate and craft regulations. There are over 66,000 regulations in 27 titles already here in the state of California <clears throat> that are contained in the CCR, the California Code of Regulations. And there are both formal and informal opportunities to offer public comment on proposed regulations and certainly a number of different points in the rulemaking process where those comments can be offered. There are two things about this process to keep in mind. The first is that informal comments are not a part of the official rulemaking file. The second is that public the public comment process for regulations differs in some ways from comments in the California legislative process. The first opportunity to provide public comment on a proposed regulation is during the interested parties process. Again, those comments are informal because the formal Administrative Procedure Act, APA process, has not yet begun. These are, if you will, behind the scenes uh, comments where informal uh, draft language might be provided or conceptual items may be discussed. And so an advocate's comments are informal in nature. The next opportunity in the regular rulemaking process comes once that regulation has been published and the official APA process has begun. By law, those state entities have to <clears throat> provide a minimum 45-day comment period and so in all instances, written comments are encouraged and of course welcome and must be taken within that 45 day comment period. So this is really the first opportunity to submit or offer formal public comments. And those written comments will go into the rulemaking file that ultimately the adopting agency will be uh, submitting for formal review to the California Office of Administrative Law, OAL. Now, not all public, uh, not all agencies offer public hearings on their proposed regulations that they publish. <clears throat> However, if a public hearing is requested by a member of the public, then the agency is legally required to hold the public hearing. And again, this is another key difference between the legislative and regulatory processes. Once the formal rulemaking process ends, the Office of Administrative Law reviews the rulemaking file to determine whether or not the state entity had complied with all of the legal procedural requirements contained in the APA. And that's a third difference between the lawmaking, the legislative process of lawmaking in the California legislature and the rulemaking process used to adopt regulations by the uh, California executive branch of state government. Your public comment in the rulemaking process should really focus on the six standards of review that the OAL uses when reviewing regulations in the rulemaking file. Those standards are necessity, <clears throat> Uh, have they shown uh, by an evidentiary standard the necessity or the need to adopt the regulation? Authority, that's relatively straightforward. Did they have the authority to adopt the regulation? In almost all instances, the answer is yes. Clarity, uh, are the regulations clear in their language so that the regulated community can understand them and comply with them. Consistency, this is sometimes uh, incorrectly referred to as authority. Consistency is, is the regulation consistent 
with the statute that it is implementing or interpreting or making clear. Reference is a simple uh, standard. Uh, what is the statute that they are uh, explaining, making clear, interpreting? And then non-duplication. Uh, you don't want a regulation to simply restate word for word, either a federal or a state regulation. So there's no real set standard of review for public comment, um, but you should follow some of those standards because those will be the standards utilized by OAL in determining again whether or not the regulation complied with the APA process.